subrate switch, SRS, is a BSS component that allows connection of rates lower than 64 kilobits per second. Four 64 kilobits per second time slots containing speech arrive in the BSC from MSC. TRH controls the setup of the call and decides if the SRS shall be used, which TRA to use, call type, destination BTS, etc. The GS sets up connections to the TRA, which transcodes the four 64 kilobits per second channels to four 16 kilobits per second. The 4 multiplied by 16 kilobits per second channels are then multiplexed to 1 64 kilobits per second channel, which is returned to the GS. In this example, the destination for two of the calls is BTS1, and for the other two calls, BTS2. The TRH has this information and decides that it is necessary to set up a connection towards the SRS. The SRS switches the 16 kilobits per second subrate channels to 2 kilobits per second channels, which are returned to the GS. After this, the GS can set up connections towards BTS1 and BTS2, which will contain the correct subrate channels. SRS is always used when TRA in pool is used. It is also needed when we utilize LAPD multiplexing, which is when the speech and signaling towards the RBS is multiplexed onto the same 64 kilobits per second channel. To make it possible for the mobile subscriber to receive a call, the network must know where the MS is located. To keep the network updated on the location of the MS, the system is informed by the MS when it enters a new location area. This is called location updating. Normal, periodic registration, and IMSI attach are the three different types of location updating defined. The MS may also inform the network when it enters an inactive state, IMSI detach. RBS 2000 is Ericsson's second generation of radio base stations developed to meet the GSM specification for BTSs. The RBS 2000 product family for Ericsson's GSM system is specially designed to offer rapid and cost-effective rollouts and low total life cycle costs. RBS 2000 products come in a flexible design, which means there can be a number of configurations and expansions as the network grows. RBS can be positioned at a variety of sites including outdoor, indoor, on ground or rooftops, and wall mounted. The MS initiates normal location updating when it detects that it has entered a new location area. When the MS is listening to the system information transmitted on the BCCH carrier for the serving cell, it compares the broadcast location area identity, LAI, with the one stored in the MS. If the broadcast LAI differs from the one stored, a location updating, type normal, is initiated and the new LAI is stored in the MS. If the location updating fails, for example due to entering a forbidden location area, the MS either tries to select another cell or return to the PLMN selection state. The path used to carry information between MS and BTS is known as the physical channel. The information carried on the physical channel is classified as logical channel. The logical channels are divided into two categories, control channels and traffic channels. The control and traffic channels are further subdivided. There are two types of traffic channels and three types of control channels 
with a total of nine different types. The Packet Control Unit, PCU, is responsible for the GPRS Packet Data Radio Resource Management, in BSS. Especially, PCU is responsible for handling the ABIS and the GB interfaces for packet data call setup. The GB interface is terminated in the PCU. The PCU consists of both central software, CP, and hardware devices with regional software. RP. It will have one or more regional processors, RPP. An RPP can work towards both the GB and the ABIS interface, or towards ABIS only. The function of the RPP is to distribute PCU frames between GB and ABIS. The Channel Control Unit software, CCU, is present in the BTS. The PCU connects to the GB devices via GS and to the ABIS devices via the GS and the SRS. The GPRS traffic is multiplexed with the circuit switch traffic in the subrate switch. To reduce unnecessary paging of a mobile that has left the coverage area, has run out of battery power, or for any other reason has the wrong status in the MSC, BLR, there is a type of location updating called periodic registration. Control channels carry signaling information used by the MS to locate a BTS synchronize itself with the BTS and receive information required to perform call setup. Broadcast control, dedicated control, and common control are the three categories of control channels. All broadcast channels, BCH, are transmitted point to multipoint over the downlink. The broadcast channels consist of three types of channels. Frequency correction channel, FCCH, provides the frequency correction information used by the mobile station. Synchronization channel, SCH, contains the base station identity code and the TDMA frame number used for synchronization of the mobile station to the frame structure of a new BTS. Broadcast control channel, BCCH, is used to broadcast general information to all mobile stations. All common control channels, CCCH, are transmitted point to point and are further classified into three types of channels. Paging channel, PCH, is used to page the mobile station. PCH information is transmitted over the downlink. Access grant channel, AGCH, is used to assign a SDCCH. AGCH information is transmitted over the downlink. Random access channel, RACH, is used by a mobile station to request access to the system. RACH information is transmitted over the uplink. All dedicated control channels, DCCH, are transmitted point to point over both downlink and uplink. Standalone dedicated control channel, SDCCH carries signaling information during call setup. Slow associated control channel, SACCH, transmits call control data and measurement reports. Fast associated control channel, FACCH, carries urgent signaling information. Traffic channels carry either speech or data. There are two types of traffic channels, full rate and half rate. Enhanced full rate, EFR, is another version of speech codec full rate that provide more quality. AMR is a new speech codec type, which adapts the speech codec rate and channel coding according to the radio environment. It makes the channel more robust to be error-free.
The IMSI attached detach operation is an action taken by an MS to indicate to the network that it has entered into idle mode, inactive state. When an MS is powered off, an IMSI detach message is sent. A flag is sent in VLR in order to indicate the present state of a certain MS. This prevents unnecessary paging of powered off mobiles. When an MS is powered on, it tunes to the BCCH carrier and decodes the system information data. It performs an evaluation, taking into account the IMSI number that determines to which paging group it belongs. When there are no paging messages to be transmitted to MSs in a certain paging group, dummy paging will be sent instead. The MS stays in sleep mode to minimize power consumption in the time gap between when its own paging group occurs. Let's see what happens when a mobile subscriber wants to set up a voice call to a subscriber in the PSTN. The signaling channels used in the call setup are presented. The MS starts calling. The MS uses RACH to ask for a signaling channel. The BSC TRC allocates a signaling channel using AGCH. The MS sends a call setup request via SDCCH to the MSC VLR. Over SDCCH, all the signaling preceding a call take place. This includes marking the MS as active in the VLR, using internal signaling, the authentication procedure, and equipment identification using MAP signaling. MSC sends a request to MS through the SDCCH and orders authentication. The MS replies using the SDCCH uplink. The MSC checks and permits the call proceeding. The MSC sends a ciphering string and the MS replies. The ciphering is working. The MSC VLR instructs the BSC TRC to allocate an idle TCH. The BTS and MS are told to tune to the TCH. The SDCCH is released. The MSC VLR, using ISUP signaling, forwards the B number to an exchange in the PSTN, which establishes a connection to the subscriber. If the B subscriber answers, the connection is established. Locating is the basic radio feature providing mobility in the radio network. Locating is also the base on which other features, such as HCS and assignment to another cell, are built upon. The design cell plan is implemented in locating with parameters for power settings, handover borders, etc. Ericsson's locating algorithm provides the user with a powerful tool to implement a very flexible cell plan. With locating, it is possible to have a flexible cell planning with handover borders adapted to the radio environment, minimizing the interference in the network, and maximizing the capacity. The auxiliary radio network features are very important to be able to optimize the functionality and performance of the radio network. During the call, the MS measures the signal strength and quality on its own TCH and the signal strength of the neighboring cells. The MS evaluates the average value for each of these. Approximately two times per second, the MS sends a measurement report to the BTS, with measurements from the serving cell and the best neighboring cells. 
The BTS adds its own measurements made on the TCH, uplink and forwards, the report to the BSC. In the BSC, the locating function determines if it is necessary to hand over the call to another cell because of poor quality or low signal strength in the serving cell. If a handover is required, the BSC orders the BTS in the new cell to activate a TCH. Once the new TCH is acknowledged, the BSC sends a message to the MS via the old BTS with the information about the frequency, time slot, and output power to change to. The MS tunes to the new frequency and sends handover access bursts on the appropriate TS, FACCH. When the BTS detects the HO access burst, it sends physical information containing the timing advance to the MS on the FACCH. The BTS also informs the BSC by sending an HO detection message. The new path through the group switch is connected. The MS sends a handover complete message. The old BTS is ordered to deactivate the old TCH and its associated signaling channel, SACCH. In the intra-BSC handover procedure, the BSC handles everything without any involvement from the MSC. However, to keep track of statistics, the BSC informs the MSC when a handover is performed.